Okay, guys, so just another teardown of a monitor. This is a uh, Fujitsu E155 CRT monitor. As you can see, I've already got the, the back off here. So, and also I've got the uh, the sucker already off. So that's just about ready to go. We've got the uh, Variac hooked up to it at the moment. So we've got it plugged in the wall there. Um, yeah, well, I've just been finishing making up some leads to, this evening, really. These are uh, nice new silicon flexible um, crocodile leads. They're made with 2.5mm flexible um, silicon wire, so they're pretty pretty cool. You know, I've got five of each of those, and that'll be pretty cool. So what I was using before are these other ones which were made up a while ago, which I think is 1.5. I can't really remember. It was something. Something pretty substantial, but not quite as substantial as these, not quite as flexible as that either. So, yeah, plenty of test leads now, so that's pretty cool. So, um, without further ado, we will, uh, hey, hey, test this monitor out. Right, let's turn the variac on. Right, so just move that sucker away from the casing there. Let's take it up to 100%. Uh, where is the power button? Oh, that's a bit of a bugger. I was expecting the power button to be already in. I pushed it in earlier. Alright, let's try again. Let's just unplug. I'll unplug the safety first. Push that power button in. Alright, that should fire up now. Alright, let's try again. Sounds like it's doing something. Eating that label on there. I'll leave that there a second. Let's turn the lights off. Or oh, at least a couple of rows anyway. Okay. Two out of three rows, so that, that should be pretty dim. You might be able to see. Oh, it's not the ozone on that. Taking away there. The plasma. Nice. Let's see if we can get it to. Not as cool as that. Loud actually. Not the actual sound of the uh, the corona there. It's pretty loud. The actual art's quite loud as well, but uh, you can kind of describe it as like a like a um a zip, but like a hundred times more louder. It's not quite as powerful as the other one, mine. This is like putting out more of a rip where the other one that I tested the other day was um, more of a like a sudden a sudden bang where this is more like a like a constant sort of tearing sound. Also another thing about this, um the CRT is there's not much of a um a reset circuit on it. It's not really coming in as much so I can get it practically really close. It's setting, resetting on itself, but it sets back in really quickly. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's play that. Half <laughs> oh, folks. 
Cool. And then it goes. Cool. So yeah, that works pretty cool. We'll uh, turn some lights back on. Cool. Right. Uh, let's put one of these test leads to good use and let's uh, hook it up to the ground. And straight. Be hard to do one handed. Hook it up to the scrub driller. And oop, there we go. That got her. It's actually quite a decent amount of um fastness left in that, which is cool. Alright, unplug safety first. I'll just make sure that's definitely yeah, okie doke. Alright, cool beans there. Excellent. Well, uh, I'll probably be tearing this down on the weekend, possibly, or maybe tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure yet. We'll see how things go. And uh, I'll be digging that flyback out of there. As you can see, it's got a, uh, like a another big capacitor on it. So it's similar to the other one, but it doesn't have quite as much as a pulse to it. This one has more of a tearing sort of um, set to it, as well as a decent reset on there. You know, it doesn't take long for it to, um, for that safety reset to go back in on itself. There's a decent heat sink there. Pretty cool. Not too much in this one. Mine's just a yeah, single-sided PCB as expected, but usually get a little bit more stuff inside compared to the uh, the last monitor I had. Anyway, so yeah, that'll be pretty cool. We'll de devent the uh, the vacuum tube at some point as well. I have the rest of that out. So yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed, guys, and uh, I'll see you all again. Take it easy. Bye.